guys and welcome to this week's healthy food segment. Today I'm going to be making some gluten-free, low-carb, and vegan cookie dough bites. Um, so you're going to need some almond butter, some peanut butter, and I like crunchy peanut butter for the texture. You're going to need some chia seeds, some stevia uh, or other non-nutritive sweetener of your choice, or if you prefer, you can use honey or maple syrup. Um, just make sure that you account for the calories and carbs. And then I've also got some chopped chocolate. I am using the Green and Black's Organic 85% Cocoa Bar. It is completely vegan and it only has nine net carbs per serving and we're only putting one serving in the entire thing. So that's going to be spread out between each cookie dough bite. Um, so let's get you zoomed in and you can see how to make this. All right guys, so first things first, you're going to want to use a kitchen scale to make sure that everything is measured out correctly and go ahead and set it to grams. And let's start with our almond butter. For this almond butter, one serving is 32 grams. So let's measure that out. If you don't care so much about exact measurements and you just want to get an approximation of how many calories and carbohydrates you are consuming, then go ahead and just use the volume measurements on the back of your almond butter. For this particular one, it is two tablespoons. All right, and now we're also going to add a serving of peanut butter, which is 33 grams. So tear out your scale once more and add your peanut butter. All right, and now for our stevia or whichever sweetener you choose to use, I am using a scant quarter cup and you can adjust this based on your sweetness preferences. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and add two servings of chia seeds, which is about 24 grams. And one serving of dark chocolate, which is 40 grams. All right, and that is it for ingredients. Go ahead and grab your spoon and just start mixing it all up. All right, and then once you get to this point, it's a lot easier to finish mixing it with your hands. But before you do that, just lay out a piece of parchment paper or saran wrap or a small plate or something like that over your scale so we can measure out each of the bites. So just finish kind of kneading this so you end up with a nice cohesive dough. And then just measure these out. And they're gonna be about 22 to 23 grams a piece. All right, so in the end, you're gonna have six little servings and you're gonna wanna throw those in the freezer for about 30 minutes before putting them into a bag for storage. Um, you can store them in either the freezer or the refrigerator, depending on how you like the consistency. I find the freezer to be absolutely perfect. All right, so here we have some of the frozen cookie dough bites that I made yesterday. They've been in the freezer all night. As you can see, they are a perfect consistency. They have a great amount of crunch from the chia seeds, sweetness from the stevia, and just that little bit of chocolate, just enough to make it feel like you're really, really indulging. And let me pull up the nutrition facts on these so I can tell you exactly what you're getting 
in each bite. All right, so each one of these bites has 136 calories. It has 3.5 net carbs, 3.2 grams of fiber. It has 10.5 grams of fat, and almost a gram of that is omega-3. And it's got 3.7 grams of protein. So if you are eating these in the evening as like a late night stack, snack, they're gonna be really great because they're gonna fill you up. They're gonna give you some protein. They're not gonna overload you on carbs. They're gonna help you sleep. All in all, these are gonna be a great choice for a nighttime snack over something like cookies or cake that you would normally reach for. Um, so I hope that you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more healthy recipes and beauty tips, tricks, and tutorials. I will see you all next time. Bye.